In the realm of classic television, Benson stands as a testament to both humor and societal reflections. Set against the backdrop of a fictional governor's mansion, the series navigates the comedic waters of politics and household dynamics. The ensemble cast, each playing a distinct role, contributes to the show's enduring charm. Now, consider this, out of the many characters that graced the screen, which one left an indelible mark on your memory? As we delve into the lesser-known facets of this iconic series, anecdotes and facts emerge, casting a fascinating light on the behind-the-scenes intricacies. Did you know that the character of Benson originally appeared on another popular sitcom before claiming the spotlight in his own show? Such tidbits enrich our understanding of the series, sparking curiosity about the creative decisions that shaped its narrative. In the spirit of shared nostalgia, what cherished memory or personal experience do you associate with Benson? Whether it's a laugh-inducing scene, a family tradition tied to the show, or an unexpected encounter related to its broadcast, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, let's embark on this journey of reminiscence and exploration, celebrating the enduring legacy of a show that left an imprint on the landscape of television entertainment. Share your thoughts and let the collective tapestry of Benson memories unfold. Benson, a TV series from the late 70s seconds, features intriguing behind-the-scenes details worth exploring. In the show, references to Benson's military service in Korea and Governor Gatling's Navy background unfold. Notably, Robert Guillaume, who played Benson, served in the U.S. Army, paralleling the character's history. Similarly, James Noble, portraying Governor Gatling, served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. The exterior of the Governor's Mansion, a key setting in the series, is the Bundy House in Pasadena, California. Designed by T. Beverly Kime in 1913, this private mansion served as an iconic backdrop. Its original interior, featuring a stunning domed dark glass window overlooking the entrance, remains intact, adding authenticity to the show's visuals. A standout moment in the sixth season is the episode titled Scenario, marking a groundbreaking television event. It showcased the internet using the ARPANET, a military and government internet prototype. This forward-looking portrayal made it the first network drama episode to delve into the world of online communication, contributing to the show's uniqueness. Benson, with its blend of character dynamics and innovative elements, provides a fascinating lens into the television landscape of its time. The series skillfully weaves real-life experiences of the actors into the characters they portray, creating a rich and authentic backdrop. The Bundy House, with its historical significance, adds a layer of realism to the show's visual narrative. Lastly, the forward-thinking inclusion of the ARPANET in an episode demonstrates the series' ability to embrace emerging technologies, setting it apart in the television landscape. The 1979 TV series, focusing on the life of a character working for a southern state's governor, ended in an unusual manner, leaving viewers hanging with a cliffhanger that never saw a resolution. In the final episode, Benson, having worked for his boss, ran against him for the governorship, but the election outcome remained undisclosed. Apparently, multiple endings were filmed, none satisfying enough for a conclusive choice, leading to the decision of leaving the ending unresolved. The series had its quirks, like the undisclosed last name of the protagonist, Benson, reminiscent of its predecessor, Soap. Initially introduced as simply Benson, his full name wasn't revealed until later in the series. Surprisingly for a comedy, death became a recurring theme. Various storylines featured offbeat deaths of minor characters, often serving as comic fodder. The governor's wife, for instance, met an unusual demise, supposedly eaten by horses while wearing a sugar-laden costume. Benson himself encountered death, facing a choice between returning to life or proceeding to the afterlife, opting for the former upon seeing the potential struggles his friends would face without him. Later in the series, death took on a personified form, engaging Benson in a death-themed game to protect a bus full of children from a storm. The series took unexpected turns and left loose ends, adding an unconventional edge to its comedic narrative. The character of Katie, the governor's daughter in the 1979 TV series Benson, was inspired by Amy Carter, the first daughter at the time. 
This choice reflected a trend of drawing from real-life personalities to create fictional characters. Such character inspirations added relatability to the show, aligning it with contemporary political themes. Additionally, Inga Swenson, who portrayed Miss Krause, brought a unique heritage to her role, being an American with Scandinavian roots. This diverse casting contributed to the show's representation. Moreover, the series' concept potentially paved the way for accepting African-American politicians, with hints that have continued. The show could have followed a narrative leading to President Benson Dubois. These elements illustrate how the show intertwined real-world elements into its storytelling, contributing to its resonance within the socio-political context of the time. Robert Guillaume's portrayal in the series marked a milestone as he became the first black actor to nab an Emmy for Best Actor in a comedy series. His performance as the character was instrumental in breaking barriers in the television industry. The show underwent alterations for syndicated reruns, notably shortening the opening credits and theme song, while removing the epilogues from episodes to streamline the viewing experience. In Goss Swenson's transition from portraying an eccentric Scandinavian villain on another show to a contrasting role in Benson as one of the protagonists added depth to her versatility as an actress. Her character's dynamic with Benson, though often contentious, contributed to the show's ongoing conflict. These aspects highlight the significance of Guillaume's achievement, the show's editing for reruns, and Swenson's character evolution, all pivotal to the series' impact on television history. Benson's evolution from Soap to his own show came with a surprising addition his last name, Dubois. The transition allowed the character to step into his own sitcom spotlight. Interestingly, this change sparked a significant alteration years later. In 2023, the series Poker Face featured Benson on a laptop, inspiring a rock version of its theme song called Sucker Punch. This shift showcased how Benson's character remained influential across different eras of television, from the late 70s seconds to the modern-day setting of Poker Face. Notably, the show also marked the acting debut of a then-unknown young comedian, Jerry Seinfeld, adding another layer to its historical impact on the entertainment industry. As our journey through the nostalgic realm of television comes to a momentary pause, I can't help but ponder the resonating impact of the classic 1979 series that subtly found its way into our hearts. Benson, with its charm and wit, forged a unique connection with its audience, weaving tales that transcended mere entertainment. Now, as our paths intertwine here, I extend an invitation to delve into the corridors of memory and nostalgia. What moments from Benson still shimmer vividly in the recesses of your mind? Was it the magnetic charisma of its characters or the clever interplay of humor and wisdom that etched an indelible mark? It's in these shared reflections that the true essence of Benson comes alive, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the communal joy it brings. Your stories, musings, and fond recollections infuse new life into this timeless classic allowing its spirit to endure across the ever-shifting sands of time. Your thoughts, cherished and personal, are the threads that weave the tapestry of collective remembrance. So, share your anecdotes, your heartfelt sentiments, and let the resonance of Benson echo through our shared memories. Thank you for embracing this opportunity to reminisce and connect over the cherished moments from Benson. Your presence and participation add depth to this journey down memory lane.